Michelle used the buy license, which made licensing her new work easy. But not all licenses play well with others. Let's consider some situations where the licenses being combined are more restrictive. Suppose you are developing a work and you want to use some other CC licensed works within yours. If you adapt or derive works offered under Creative Commons licenses, you must not only follow the terms of the licenses involved, but also choose a license for your work that is compatible with the licenses of the works you are using. If a license of a work you want to use is not compatible with yours or another work you plan to use, search for a comparable work with a compatible license, or try to contact the rights holder and request permission to use the work under your license. New email. So which licenses are compatible and which are not? The buy license is compatible with any other Creative Commons license, so you can use it with attribution, of course, any way you like. Sometimes the buy license has the no derivatives or ND provision. The ND provision prohibits the works from being adapted, revised, or combined at all. With a share alike or SA provision, your new work must have an identical license as the source content. In other words, this license lets others remix, tweak, and build upon a work as long as they credit the creator and license their derivatives under identical terms. Finally, the non-commercial or NC provision makes the license compatible with any of the three licenses with an NC component. By NC itself, by NCSA, or even by NC and D. This is Andrea and Charles. Hi. Hello. They are each developing their own chapters of an open textbook to be licensed separately. That's right. When they have questions about which license to use, they ask Beth, the scholarly communications librarian. Beth is considered the leading expert on campus in Creative Commons licensing. Most people think she's pretty cool. Andrea and Charles would agree. Andrea has found two resources that she wants to use with her own writing. One is an extensive table with useful information for students. The other is a diagram that shows the relationships among complex variables in a way that makes them easier for students to grasp. The table is found in a work with an attribution license. The diagram carries an attribution non-commercial license. She is confident she can use these assets for her open textbook chapter, but she wonders what licenses she can apply to her finished work. Considering the stipulations of the Buy NC license, she figures she can use a Buy NC, a Buy NC SA, or a Buy NC ND license. Right, Beth? Great. Now it's Charles' turn. Charles also has two resources that he wants to use with his chapter. One is a photograph with an attribution share alike license, and the other is a set of exercises with an attribution non-commercial license. He figures he can cover them both by licensing his chapter with a buy NCSA license. Beth? No way, Chuck. Not unless you obtain permission from the photographer. Share alike means you have to use the exact same license, and the buy NC license of the exercises won't let you do that. Well, what if I use this resource? Buy license? You're good to go. Thanks, guys. No, no problem. problem. When it comes down to it, some combinations of licenses just aren't compatible, and some combinations, like Andrea's, give several options. Fortunately, the number of resources with open licenses is huge, and it's growing every day. So don't give up if the work you want to use has an incompatible license. There's plenty, and that's it. It's pretty easy when you get the hang of it. Now you'll be able to produce properly licensed open educational resources that could benefit many people. So good luck! <laughs>